Hello Angular enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel where we break down the latest in web development. Today we are diving into the change event in Angular 17, a powerful feature that can make your applications more dynamic and responsive. Whether you are managing from inputs, updating settings or reacting to the user inputs, mastering the change event is crucial. So let's get started and unlock our full potential of Angular 17 together. Let's look at a basic implementation of change event. So for that, I'm going to open my app component in my project and here I will add a simple input and here I will add change event on it and we will simply call the function on change that we will define shortly and make sure to pass the event to in, to, to this function so that we could capture the value that is changed in that input. Now let's define that function on change e and console the e dot target dot value okay all right now let's make a change here and you can see the change has been displayed in the logs so in this example the change event is linked to our own change function in the component ts file this method is triggered when the input field loses focus and its value has been modified unlike the input event which fires on every keystroke, the change event is more specific, making it ideal for actions like form validations or saving data after user input. Now let's see how the change event can be used in a more complex scenario. Imagine we want to update a user profile after change in an input field. So for that here, I'm going to add a property username. Let's inject the HTTP client make sure to import the http client module as well if you want to use it now i will create a function on update this dot http dot post and here i will use the api user slash update username this dot username now let's go to the html and call that function on change and let's receive the event as the parameter and i will set this dot username is equal to target value and now let me display the username all right now let's type anything and you can see that we are displaying the user in this example we are using the change event to send an http request to update the user's profile notice how we handle the response and errors this pattern is common in setting our profile update pictures uh, features in web applications now let's talk about some best practices and performance optimizing performance is key let's just discuss how to debounce input and use the change detection strategies so let me remove this for now and here i will use a property private search subject is equal to new subject and make sure to import this subject from rxjs like this and in the constructor i will use this dot search subject dot subscribe uh, dot pipe and in that pipe function i will pass the bounce time and pass 300 to it make sure to import the debounce time operator and at the end i will subscribe to it and we will pass it a callback function that will receive the search value and here you can uh, implement your logic or you can simply call the HTTP client like this. So here we are just uh, hitting that API to search something. Now I need to again create that on update function here and I will use this dot search subject dot next e dot target dot by. So this time I'm just triggering the change in this rxjs subject and that will whenever we will emit change in this subject it will listen to this by using subscribe and in the subscribe function we will hit our api and we are using debounce time that will add some delay so before doing anything else let's just quickly test it so let's open the console and you can see that uh, abc is now visible that is happening because of this log uh, this log okay and also we are getting the data after we receive the response from that github api okay so you can see that if i type uh, something it does not hit that api after every character it waits for some time so that we could complete the typing so let's 
see you can see i typed hello and it hit the endpoint only once so here we use the rxjs subject and debounce time to limit the number of events fired this approach is more efficient and especially for search inputs are similar cases where performance is crucial we have just explored the depths of the change event in angular 17 from basic implementation to advanced use cases and best practices understanding these concepts can significantly enhance your angular applications remember the key is to practice and experiment with these ideas in your projects thank you for joining me on this journey through the angular 17 if you found this tutorial helpful then don't forget to like share and subscribe for more advanced tutorials keep coding and see you in the next video